collars come delivered from Iron Wheel Outfitters in this nice little bag. Soft. Little carrying bag. And you've got the specific diameter and weight on the back. Okay, we're out here at 50 yards, shooting my prime. Nexus 4, 70 pounds, 30 inch draw. We're going to be shooting Easton Axis 5 millimeter arrows. And on the end of these arrows is an iron wheel impact collar. The weakest part of every arrow is right at the end. Inside here is an insert that gets glued in. It sits recessed about that far down inside the arrow, which means that this piece is the one area of the arrow that you have to worry about the most because this is where the impact happens. And if you're going to have any issue on impact, it's going to be right here. This is the part where the arrows can crack and split and get destroyed and you'll never be able to use them again. So, to prevent that from happening, different companies have collars, impact collars. This is a titanium 25 grain impact collar from Iron Will Outfitters. They are measured to fit whichever arrow you are shooting. This is an Easton Axis 5mm. It's a 300 spine. This has been crafted to fit exactly over the end of this particular arrow with tight tolerances. If I was to go up a spine or go down a spine to the 260s, uh, this collar will not work. I'll have to get a different one. Vice versa, if you go up to the 340s or higher or the 400s, you're going to have to get a collar that's specific for the arrow that you are using. Your insert or broadhead fits right over top. That's not going anywhere. You can also glue these in, but personally I don't really see the point of doing that. These can be used over and over and over again on various arrows. So I'm not going to be gluing these in. So we're going to be shooting these at 50 yards into my Bulldog target. And uh, we'll do a little comparison. I'm going to shoot one with the collar, one without. We'll see what the difference is. These collars are 25 grains, so they're going to add more FOC to the front of the arrow. FOC is front of center. It has to do with the percentage of weight that is at the front of your arrow. The more weight that you have at the front of the arrow, the stronger impact you're going to have when it hits your target whether it be a target or an animal. More FOC creates more penetration, creates more devastation. Penetration, devastation, that's what we're looking for. So, we're going to see how these fly. I haven't sighted this particular arrow in with the added weight to it, so there will be a difference downrange, but I will do that when the wind stops howling. Alright, let's give it a shot. Fifty yards with the collar. Well, you could hear that, but that was definitely a louder impact downrange. Let's go check it out. I don't know if you heard that thud, but that was definitely a louder impact downrange. Again, this, these aren't sighted in yet. I'm waiting for this wind to go away. I'll be sighting uh, the collars in once we have some better weather, but right now we've got uh, 50 yards with the collar and without. We'll check out the penetration. Now again, this is a bag target. We've gone over this before. This is not the way to measure penetration, but it's something. So check it out. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna do that again. One with the impact collar, one without. Now here's 50 yards with the impact collar. Pay attention to the sound when it hits the target. Definitely louder. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. So my thoughts around the penetration with these collars is um, with the field points that I'm using there is still a little bit of space where the collar wraps around the front of the end of the arrow. So the field point that I have sits flush with the arrow without the collar on but there's still a bit of material wrapping around the front of the arrow so the field point's no longer flush with it so when it's hitting the target it's starting to slow down faster. I think these are going to be an incredible asset in the woods when hunting as you can hear that sound, that thud at the other end of the target. When that hits the animal, that added weight, that added front of center is really going to help with impact and penetration. I believe if I pick up the iron wheel field points, they're going to fit flush just like this broadhead does. As you can see here, it's perfectly flush from end to end. Penetration equals devastation. I should put that on a t-shirt. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share them with your friends and let me know what you'd like to see next.